Hello everyone, this is Phil with another video. In this video, we're gonna have a look at one type of GUG.com game, and I'm gonna show you how to make a installation CD from it. From it. Um, I'm using Tomb Raider as an example. It uses uh, a CD image, which is in the bin and the queue format, but the audio files are compressed. So it's a three-step process. In the first step, we need to extract the data from the image and also note down the CD label. In the second part, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna convert the compressed audio files and we're gonna convert them into a CD format compatible uh, WAV format. And in the final part, we're gonna use those two elements and we're gonna burn a mixed mode CD. So when you finish with this, you have um, the opportunity to burn installation CDs of a lot of DOSBox based GUG.com games. Okay, so in this part, I'm gonna show you how to extract the data from the image file. But before we start, we actually have to confirm that we're dealing with a bin in the queue image and that we have also have compressed audio files. Uh, a good giveaway is that if you're finding MP3 or OGG files in the game folder, but the better way is to follow the shortcut for the game. So right click on the launch Tomb Raider shortcut, click on properties. I'm just using Tomb Raider uh, as an example because it happens to be a game that uses bin and queue sheets and uses compressed uh, CD audio tracks. We can see here that it refers to the DOSBox Tomb Raider underscore single config file. So let's open that config file and we can see here it mounts an image with the name game.dat. So let's have a look at that game.dat. Here it is. It's only one kilobyte, and that's usually a good clue that it's a Q sheet. And if we open it, we can actually see, okay, yep, that looks like a Q sheet. And it's referring to the image file game.gog, which is right here. And you can see that one is quite big, almost 300 megabyte. So I'm gonna grab those two files and I'm gonna copy them and just paste them somewhere else because I don't wanna um, destroy the game because we're actually gonna rename the files and change some of the contents. So let's rename the files. Game.gog will become our bin file. And game.dat will become our queue sheet. And then we still have to open the queue sheet. We change the reference to bin because we have changed the file name now. And then we delete all these references up to here to do with the compressed audio files. We hit file, save, close it, and there is our cue sheet. Now, we need to extract the information that's in that image, and a couple of options. Um, I just recommend uh, two programs which I've, I have experience with. One is WinISO. It's quite, it's, it's, it's free as well. Um, it's good for just extracting the files. And the other one is uh, Daemon Tool, Daemon Tools, which allows you to mount an actual image. And that's the option I'm gonna use. So first, I'm just gonna create a new uh, virtual drive. And then I'm gonna drag the Q sheet on my virtual drive, which should then mount it. There you go, and I can go over here. And there's my virtual drive. And if I right click on properties, I can see the CD label. So we're gonna copy that. I'm just gonna take a note of that because we need that later. Okay, so here are all my files. I'm gonna grab them, right click, copy, and I go back to the uh, folder I had before. And I put it in my data folder. Okay, there you go. That's the data extracted from the CD image. Okay, and in this part, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna convert the compressed audio files into CD compatible WAV files. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna grab all the compressed MP3 files and we're gonna copy them and put them in the folder structure I created into the CD audio tracks, right click and paste. And the program I use to convert them to WAV files is this one here. It's called uh, Free Audio Converter. 
and the important thing is that it's not set to high quality but to optimal quality so that's the one uh, that CD the CD audio standard uses it uses 41 uh, 44.1 kilohertz and not 48 which is uh, what the DVD standard uses okay so what we do is we select all the files and we just grab them across and then we hit the convert button and off it goes converting all the mp3 files into WAV files and I can close that and I can delete all the mp3 files because I don't need them anymore and I'm just stuck with my WAV files and that's it we've successfully converted the compressed audio files into uh, CD compatible WAV files okay and now we have everything in place we've got the data extracted from the image we have converted the compressed audio files into CD compatible WAV files and we're ready to burn our disk the program I'm using for this is sorry it's not this one it's this one it's called infra uh, recorder and we click on file new project mixed mode CD so we get a, a menu like this and what we need to do here is first we right click on the mixed mode CD project go properties and here we have to enter the CD label which we wrote down earlier which happens to be Tomb Raider 1 everything else can be left alone um, and this one level 3 that's fine as well okay okay good to go so here we have one for the data and here goes here go the wave files so first we copy the data across so we go into our data folder um, select everything so just control a and drag it in here that takes care of the data and now we're dealing with the audio so I'll go back out into my CD audio tracks and I'm gonna grab all my audio files make sure that they're in ascending order so two three four five six seven eight nine ten sometimes it can mess it up but that's it you're ready to burn it so hit the burn CD button and put a disk in and you're ready to burn it and that's it for this video thank you for watching here's the finished product I used it in my uh, DOS retro gaming PC it works flawlessly any comments leave them down below hit the like button subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so spread the word and thanks for watching